Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back, because I have yours. We are going to be talking about a soul contract, a soulmate partnership, or a spiritual union that you have been a part of, and it has to do with a love affair. This could have been a situationship, but it's third-party energies, it's, um, you know, the secrecies of the relationships or the situationships when, you know, you feel like you have a soul contract, but to me, it's no boundaries there. We're going to pull from the telepathic... Uh, oracle cards and also the uh mystic love and the mystic rose oracle deck um you guys do me a favor please like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video remember red hearts you made it through purple hearts it resonates green hearts you're working on a yellow heart you rock with me got my six me to have my back i also can't get off of this reading without saying happy birthday to my cancers Yes, I have been MIA, but it's all for good cause. We all have to pull back our energies in order to move forward. And so there you have it. Um, again, if you rock with me and got my six, you understand and you know that I wouldn't leave you guys intentionally. So we also are going to pull from the, um, I think it's the soul telling cards. This is unsure energy about what you should be protecting or cherishing. And then also... Uh, a barrier that has been placed in your life uh, or you have placed a barrier or there's some type of obstacles that you've been a part of the cherished energy which is unsure it says protect your relationship well so with this soul contract you're not sure if you should protect it because again there's some type of obstacles that have been happening and probably has to do with the love affairs and the situationships that um, have come out of this uh, relationship or soul contract that you feel like uh, you know, it, it's like Erica Baidu's I see you next lifetime, but those next lifetimes are because something in this lifetime or in a certain lifetime didn't work out. And so therefore trusting in your intuition, uh, there will be some type of surprise. It says you may be surprised when it comes to how you should protect your energy and the barriers that you have to put up in regards to that. But these love affairs are just tests to see how strong you are, to see what you can accomplish and to see what you uh, and how, how you love yourself in the process of not wanting to be a part of or being a part of situations and things that you cannot change. How do you put that energy into yourself or do you give your all to a situation and then you're surprised at the outcome? You know, the test, it says your strength and your weaknesses are being put are being tested. So just to see how strong you are, this is a, going back to what I learned from the game of life and how to play it. No man is your friend, no man is your enemy. Every man is your teacher. And when it comes to, yeah, hammering, it says sabotage, persistence, working on it, and uh, repairing, <clears throat> excuse me, repairing your, um, your heal, you repairing and healing yourself. You have to understand that this is the reason why you go through these types of things because when you're unsure about, you know, all of the things and working on it and being persistent and, you know, sabotage, being sabotaged and also having to rebuild in regards to um, dishonesty or disloyalty, you have to look at your passions in a different light. And so it's equal interest, burning desire, sparks and having fun. And it's insane chemistry because those passions, the things that you're passionate about are the things that's going to keep you going in the process of feeling like you've been in a karmic relationship and you've been backstabbed, uh, and it goes back to the seduction energy of third-party situations, the love affairs, and you really understanding what, why you're being put to the test. So remember, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. The karmic relationship, the resentments, the triggers, the perceptions, you know, having to let go, the intensity, the turmoil, and uh, just having to leave certain energies where you feel like you're being backstabbed and you had to separate and there's all type of lies and things that's happening a shocking attack and a surprise you feel like somebody is putting your uh energy at to a standstill hold on a second yeah so when it comes to karmic relationships and what i was saying is that feeling like you know you're going to be surprised on how things play out once you get over this part and, and stop taking things personally in regards to what somebody else's actions are. That is where it, it's hard for us to get through because look at this at the bottom of the deck of this 
tarot deck, it feels like you've been backstabbed and you can't move on. But the test is understanding and learning what your passions are and being able to get through it. And so that is the best thing that I can say when it comes to dealing with certain situations. So this is the love. What is this? The mystic, mm, mystic red rose, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to, yeah, messages that haven't been heard, uh, being dealing with the player and also understanding being at peace. So unsent messages, you're not going to get the message that you want, but it says missing and thinking of you. But at that same time, I'm going to pull turn this over um, because this shows the pain that you're going through. But um, missing and thinking of you, somebody is always going to think about you and feel overwhelmed when you have to pull your energy back and pull a them on. Uh, what is it? A you on them or them on you? you know, or vice versa, or how it works, but you're basically, you know, the player always has certain type of energies and love affairs and the situationships because they can, because you never set boundaries and you always allow things to slide by you. And just because you're like, okay, well, that don't mean, you know, that ain't, that ain't me. They'll never be me. You make those excuses in your head. And when it comes to dealing with certain situations you decide to put all that energy into yourself and start to love yourself and look at things in a different light this card deck is about um, what is this called manifesting money or something like that um, but this card deck you start to work on yourself yeah and you become either dependent or independent and so it says you can't fully come into your power if you rely on others to financially support you so this could be you are you know not financially waiting for somebody to support you you are waiting for somebody to tell you how to make a move or to give you an opinion or to basically agree with what you have you know uh, what is it that you agree with what you know is right but you run things by people in order for them to give you the okay to say yeah you'll be able to do that and so when it comes to the people that you feel like are strengthening you are actually weakening you because again they can miss you and not tell you and they can be around you just to see or to pull your energy away but once you become at peace with things the unsent messages you don't even care about like them not sending you messages you have to learn how to let go and get out of that 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 type of energy or whatever so this card wants to turn over this way so yeah no more daydreaming like i said no more daydreaming no more you know, uh, you're, you're at peace with the situation and the daydreaming card in the upright says having your head in the clouds can be a source of great inspiration, but be careful when you, your fantasies become an escape from reality. So yeah, this is you not depending on anyone or not depending on the feeling anymore and, um, going after what your passions are and yeah, retreat. Sometimes taking a break is the best thing you can do to gain clarity and, and fresh, a fresh perspective. So somebody thinking about you is like you're that's at the back of the that's at the back of the line for you you're not worried about it and this is a test so you you're looking at things like okay this person is just here to strengthen me that and that's you have to thank them no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher you know so this person was here to teach you a lesson to be strong in my last read this card tried to turn over i'll look and see what it is the fool yeah so in my last read this is you having clarity right so in my last read, you had clarity. The same card came out the first, um, um, the first card as well. The um, Ace of Swords energy. It was like you having a breakthrough or having mental clarity, but having new ideas on what it is that you want. And that's the reason why it's you deciding to go after your passions and not to really worry about what somebody else thinks about you or how somebody else feels about the same, you know, whatever you decide to do. So again, back to what I was saying, the world completion, this came out in their read too. The completion energy is like, you're not daydreaming. You're not dependent on anybody's energy anymore. You used to run thing, run things by people used to run things by this situation ship, whether it will be this player. And you knew that the outcome wasn't going to be what you wanted it to be, but you say, okay, because I feel like we have this soul contract or this type of spiritual union that I'm, I'm the karmic type of situations is that, you know, you want to still include this, this situation in in the in the mix of what it is that you want but you don't get the support that you need and so therefore the completion is is that you turn around and yeah ace of uh, pinnacles energy you're like i have the courage I, you know you you turn around and you're unsure you're unsure about ace of pinnacles ace of swords the clarity is there 
you understand that, you know, there is ju- there is um, completion here. But at some point you are unsure about what the Ace of Pentacles means. And it's like either this is a lack of planning or foresight. You want to run things by people because you want to feel secure that you have somebody's back but or somebody has your back. But you're able to manifest whatever it is that you want. And you're just running it by them just so they can know what you're doing basically uh the card that came over that fell over is the knight of cups energy so the knight of cups says always follow your heart it'll never be lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't change or the mind can't what is it Ooh, what is it always follow your heart it'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind the mind can't change or something like that it knows it basically you're following your heart and it knows more your heart is how we lead and so that's where that comes in at. i don't know why all these cards keep falling this one fell in the reverse okay in the reverse yeah justice in the reverse so here it is the justice in the reverse i had to <laughs> bend down in order to see that so justice in the upright is consequences of your actions now you don't really care um about what somebody feels or how you know this you're you're expecting for somebody to give you the the oh i'm going to support you but they never do a bottom of the deck is the hierophant yeah so you have to change your belief system you have to understand that this is a test this is you understanding that changing your belief system and i'm, I'm not going to finish with this i'm i'm going to clarify the justice and also the danger even in the reverse but you have to understand that nobody's going to come save you in so many words. Not saying that you're waiting for somebody to save you. But what I'm saying is that you're waiting for somebody to give you that support that you give them. Like when they run things by you or when they're because they don't say I'm going to run this by you and see how you feel. They just spew out everything. They just tell you whatever it is that they want you to know. They don't they and you know, they expect you to support them financially, mentally, physically, more unsure energy about the three of wands. Um, so, yeah. Here it is, the three of wands is like, if, if it's in the upright, it's you discovering or going out to see things in a different light or you looking ahead or whatever. And if since it's uh, in the unsure energy, it's like you have obstacles. You know what you want to do, but the delays and obstacles are like you want everybody else to come with you. So the justice consequences of your actions keep you stagnant because you're waiting for somebody to tell you, hey, I support you. You want to do the right thing. But this is not you doing the right thing. This is you waiting for somebody to tell you what it is that you already know you're capable of. And so when it comes to the three of wands and the three of pentacles in the reverse, this person does not want to work with you. This person does not support you the way you support them. And so that's the reason why it comes in the reverse. That looking ahead and stuff like that, you can look ahead, but also you want somebody else to give you that support. Let's clarify the three of pentacles. You want somebody else to give you that support and you know, yeah, it makes you feel insecure that here it is, the hermit energy, you go into hermit mode because you realize that you're insecure and you're going to always feel insecure because this person is never going to show you what you want until you realize that this is a conflict, seven of uh, wands energy, this is a conflict that you're going to constantly have, you're going to feel like you're being betrayed, you're going to feel like, you know, um, you know, they, they, you know, people just always take your kindness for weakness. And this is the test that you have to have. And, you know, this is why you're going to go after the things that you want and start looking at things in a different light. Because, again, you keep um, betting everything on this soul contract when, excuse me, when you do everything um, anyway without this opinion or approval of this situation. You're able to manifest the things that you want and to do the things that you want, but at a small level. You know, it's like you think it's small. You need to be thinking big. You know what I mean? And so you would think big if you had this situation on your shoulder uh, or right next to you, you know, hand in hand. But that's not the case. This person makes you feel insecure because you know that, you know, you have to look at things in a different light and they're not going to support you the way that you support them. And that's where the three of pentacles in the reverse comes in at. Three of pentacles in the reverse is just like, you know, you have to do everything alone, you know, and it's like a misalignment. That's what it basically is. It's like you're doing everything alone. You know that this is what's going to happen. And even though they're thinking of you and you feel like, you know, you know that there's third party situations, love affairs, you're being put to the test in order for you to retreat, which is the same thing as the hermit energy. Um, this is soul searching. You know, you're retreating hermit energy. You're, you know, meditating on it. You're pulling your energy back. 
in order for you, like Four of Pentacles energy, in order for you to be able to see things in a new light, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to pull from, sorry, I'm looking the other way. I'm looking down at my cards. Now I'm going to pull from what lies beneath to see what comes out. Um, yeah, okay. So destroyed, toxic. And recording it says announcement expression and revealing already knowing the t you already know that this, this situation is toxic you already know that this is a situation that will always be con you know well not always well they'll be able to get away with all of the things that they do deception you know like the deception the 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 making you feel less than all of this stuff and so the you know you're expressing that like um you know, I have to move forward. And you might be expressing it to yourself. You might not be expressing it to anybody else, but it says destroy, shattered, and look at, you see the rest. So this energy destroyed your peace. It destroyed your peace. It destroyed your, your, um, it destroyed your ability to believe in yourself. Because before this situation came around, you were fine with dealing with people who always were naysayers, full energy at the bottom of this deck. You were fine with that. This uh, card deck is called mm, Discover Your True Self. Um, yeah, you were fine. Sorry, I know that was loud. You were fine with, uh, you know, dealing with toxic people and not really letting them get in, you know, um, destroy your inner peace. But this soul contract made you feel something uh, before, you know, some, something before made you feel like, there's something that you, you, you know, have to offer to this situation or this situation has something to offer to you. And so therefore, when you decide to keep taking it, you know, accepting the, the thing, Page of Wands energy. Yeah. When you decided to, you know, understand that when you follow your heart, what is this called again? Um, discovering your true self, Page of Wands energy. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. You're moving in the present moment. When you decide to not let this get to you, you've always, always had toxic people around you. You already know how people are, but you had to unlearn to relearn hierophant energy. Where is it at? Somewhere here. You had to unlearn to relearn uh, when it came to how you did things moving forward. And so that is why you're not letting this situation holds you back anymore. You realize who this person is. If somebody shows you who they are, believe them. And now that's what you did in the beginning. Nine of Swords, yeah. Be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination. The Nine of Swords energy just also lets you know that when it comes to you being ambitious and thinking fast and just those type of energies, you're going to know what you want moving forward. This card comes in the reverse. Three of Pentacles, again, twice. Three of Pentacles and Ace of Cups, you know, so the Ace of Cups in the reverse just lets you know that there is the lost, lost cause, lost opportunity, a lack of planning, a lack of foresight. You cannot see, same with the Three of Pentacles, this person actually really having your back and being able to do things together. Let's clarify the Three of Pentacles. You cannot see that, so you have to follow your heart. You have to be able to know that the past is the past and I have to move forward in the present moment and not really care about the future because you saw all of these different things, three of swords, energy, yeah, heartbreak, shattered glass, broken glass, which was here, destroyed here, the glass is there, destroyed, and there was something else I seen that had broken glass. Where is it at? I, could, I think maybe it was just this, dependent. Mm. Oh, I thought I saw broken glass for some reason. Yeah, I thought I seen broken glass, but maybe I didn't. But anyway, when it comes to the Three of Pentacles being in the reverse, again, same time, twice, right? In the reverse, the Three of Pentacles just lets you know that, that you're going to be doing everything. It's going to be all kind of disharmony. It's going to be all type of misalignment if you just keep allowing this person and waiting on this person for Pentacles. So again, oh, here it is, Three of Swords. I did see, I told you I saw broken glass somewhere. So, um, wait, why did I say broken glass? destroyed broken glass or maybe i was looking at it this way i don't know maybe it was that i was looking at look my mind is 30 different places that's why i had to pull my energy back you guys and anyway back to us happy birthday four pinnacles you had to pull your energy back and i said that earlier that's what that reminded me of which is the retreat is pulling your energy back because or or four swords because of the fact that 
you know, when it comes to the way that you give, the way that you do things, you can't do that anymore. Ace of Cups energy being in the reverse. Again, the Ace of Cups is just letting you know that, you know, this is practicing self-love. Again, not this soul contract, because remember, nobody else is able to penetrate or to 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 um, make you feel some type of way because you already see through the bullshit, but this person, you keep giving the benefit of the doubt. And now here is the queen of swords energy, which comes from above. And it's like, no way. I'm very direct. I'm, I've set my boundaries. Forget this soul contract. I have to do what's best for me. This is what the universe taught you when it came to this heartbreak, feeling shattered. Why did I think that a hammer was it hammer? I could have swore it was a shattered backstab seduction. You guys, and I, I don't mind not, you know, not, I don't mind talking to you guys and myself as well. I have meetings with myself all the time. And that's what an entrepreneur does, right? So anyway, the thing is, is that when it comes to you, you having to understand that these are the things that you need. Yes, pretty. She has her beads, if you can hear them. Okay, you have to be the one to, she wanted me to open her pen. You have to be the one to to say, you know what, these are the boundaries. This is what I'm setting. I pull my energy back financially, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Where's your other top, the, the, the other top you had earlier? I got it. Okay, put it back on. Uh, I changed it already. Sorry, you guys. You have to be the one to make the decisions to not let love, not let anything stop you. And so that is where I see this energy. I'm going to pull from the true emotions, the true emotional card deck to see what comes out but yeah you 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 know when it comes to you know dealing with players people who have third party unsure yeah um it might be that you being fake busy and it's too late because you're not willing to go back and deal with these feelings because you've already gotten through them so it might be too late it might just be too late you know the fake busy is like oh yeah hi how are you okay like calling you from a different number Hi, how are you? Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, I've been fine. Oh, you got a new number? Oh, no, I still got the other number. I'm just, you know, something. And you're like, oh, okay. Well, it's good to hear from you, but um, um, I'll call you later. You know, I'm, I'm in the middle of something right now, so is it possible that I can call you later? And then you never really talk to them after that until they call you again and be like, oh, you forgot to call me back. And in actuality, you're like, no, actually, I didn't. You see what I'm saying? Like, now the the ball is in your court, and that's the awakening because they ghosted you so many times, the secret detectives, and yeah, you're at this crossroad. Remember, in the reverse, the three of wands was you couldn't really think about what it was that you needed to do, the obstacles, the, just being frustrated about certain situations. It says your twin knows they have to make a choice, but there's a lot of confusion surrounding the decisions they're taking to the uh, – around this decision they're taking their time to get clarity so they have clarity but you have clarity about your feelings and you're not you know you're not ready to discover or to go and address those right now so we have secret detective and we have in sync so um it says if you if you if one of you is snooping you don't need to ask yourself why you don't trust them or vice versa if the trust is gone how can you cultivate a healthy relationship? So that's where you have to ask yourself because in the process of this being a soul contract, it also is going to be a test that if you do want to go back and talk to this person, you have to realize that this person was a player. It was karmic. You know, you had to, they sabotaged certain things. They made you feel certain types of way. But the in sync part of it is uh, you get, uh, it says you uh, just get each other. Perhaps you finish each other's sentences or know what they're thinking this connection feels effortless and that's why you feel like it's a soul contract because in the soul contract you are able to do everything and feel everything and feel them at a distance and feel them you know and send strength and healing sometimes at some point to them but again they have they have to have awakening in order to realize what you guys have it can't just be one-sided and that's why you know those energies have come out when it comes to showing that there's one-sided energies when it comes to why you feel some type of way there was no peace in the situation it says awakening your twin is awakening to your connection and they are ready to put in the work to manifest a reunion in the 3d world expect some progress again there is a in sync energy and this is twin flame this is a soulmate and this is karmic and this is also karmic 
the ghosting is because this is what you had to do in order for you to be able to move forward uh, with this uh, away from this person and move away from this person. Basically, you had to make yourself mad. I'm drinking my uh, what is this called? Um, kombucha. I'm doing a juice fast, and this is not really juice. I'm eating other foods, but I really don't eat a lot of crazy stuff. So I'm doing a juice fast, and it's been like two weeks. And also, um, what is it called? A um, detox at the same time. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, it's like awakening. They have to work on the 3D because they're dealing with you in the 5D, but they're not able to open up their mouth and say exactly what it is that they want. And so you're just tired of re reading their minds because remember, it says you already know. So you, they're just tired of reading their mind. You're just tired of reading their minds because you already know how they feel. You already know and see through the bullshit. And that's what it says here. You already know. So the soul searching that you're doing is for yourself. And it says ghosting, uh, karmic energy. It can be difficult to hear, but if someone is ghosting you and doesn't want to be with you, they are reflecting a lack of your own self-worth. So that's what you're pulling back your energy and just like going forward and doing the things and being at peace with who you are. And that's where the Queen of Swords comes out. She can be good. She can be nice. She can be very um, uh, uh, straight to the point and just not hard, hard and hard to be around. But this is what you have to do in order to strengthen yourself from somebody who you know at the end of the day is karmic on their own part. And that's where the karmic relationship comes in at, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see that energy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. This tarot deck. I don't know what it is, but uh, I can't think of a name of this. But I'm going to go ahead and pull from here to see what comes out. And then we're going to go ahead and let this energy go. Um, yeah. And I'm going to end it with the. Uh, crystal deck and also the four agreements so patience come out so yeah you have to have patience it looked like it kind of came out unsure patience this card is the temperance energy finding balance um you didn't have balance at first but you had to find the balance in order for you to be able to get through you know this type of energy because again it's not an easy energy to get through um these cards fell out spiritual union again stole contract but the temptation is here this is card number 15 which is the devil energy beware of your appetites and that is a part of the toxic energies and the karmic relationships and this is the test that you're being put to because again your appetite is dealing with this person back and forth back and forth and we also have oh i didn't even see that the light and then we have fulfillment of wishes and spiritual union so this is the two of cups and this is the um nine of cups energy wish fulfillments and this is the light energy which is um the sun energy so the patience comes with your growth and then all your wishes and fulfillments does they come true but you know the spiritual union that's something that you have to work on and that comes with finding balance that's that comes with finding balance and until you find balance you won't really be able to see what it is um when it comes to certain situations i'm gonna pull from the 78 i think this is 78 stories i think it's 78 stories i don't know i'll pull from this deck to see what comes out because again um a spiritual union we're going to clarify the spiritual union yeah you know it's it's hard to deal with karmic relationships and what you may think is a soul contract you can't look at it like that yeah so be and, and the reason why is because you'll be in limbo and um i'll go ahead and yeah, bottom of the deck, six of swords. So you have to walk away because your temptations and basically, uh, which is the temperance energy, if you don't find balance, the balance comes with you having to walk away and it'll find you itself. But we have also the chariot energy. Yeah, move forward on a motorcycle, move forward. You have to move forward. And so chariot energy, chariot energy is keep going. You keep going because this Ten of Cups energy will come one day. It, it won't be here today, but it'll come one day. But you have to understand the burdens that it's going to cause if you don't find balance. And also the Knight of Wands energy. You know, the Knight of Wands energy is the Drake energy. Yes, I'm still a Drake's fan too, but I, I'm rocking with Kendrick too. Um, but 
you'll have to find, you know, you only live once. Be bold, be fearless, do what you love. But this is also understanding that with the Knight of Wands energy comes with you having act, taking action and being fearless, you know, and going on those adventures that we're afraid to go on. And that's where the emperor is born because the emperor is born when we start to be stable and set boundaries for ourselves and make heart over head over heart decisions and make financial decisions and be able to have some type of stability. And that's what the emperor is. The emperor energy is learning to respect yourself. And then we have the hangman energy because if you don't, you'll surrender. It's like fall for, what is it? Fall for something, uh, fall for something and fall for everything or something. I forget what it is. Stand for nothing, fall for anything. Yeah. So you'll be able to stand up for yourself. And then again, at the bottom of the deck, you'll realize and understand that if I don't stand up for myself and have the stability and and do the things that I need to do, then I'll end up being in hangman energy, which is surrendering to uh, anything, you know. And so that's where you will be at a crossroads. If you don't find balance, you will in this soul contract twin flame relationship because you'll keep repeating it each and every lifetime. Basically, that's how I kind of see it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then I'll pull from the four agreements. If you want to, excuse me, I just drank that kombucha. If you want to know my perspective of the four agreements and the crystals um, and the chakras, I'll put the links up above. It's the jet crystal and don't make assumptions, discern the truth. The key is here. It's the same key that's here. That's a hotel brothel key from Vegas. But anyway, it says the problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make an assumption, we misunderstand, we take it personally, then we react by sending emotional poison with our words. And that's who the Queen of Swords can show up as if we don't really get clarity and have gain peace of what we want. And it says um, the this creates a whole big drama for nothing. And so that's the reason why you understand and learn to cherish the, the boundaries and the barriers and the obstacles that come your way. Um, but the jet crystal is also the root chakra. Finding balance back to the emperor energy, uh, the root chakra is is your stability, you know. So once you find that 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 um, stability and understand that, you know, you're able to um, be um, the supporter, the everything to yourself first. And that's part of practicing self-love and being at peace with what you are and who you are and understand you only live once. You're not going to keep repeating this over and over again until you know unless you don't find peace and balance within yourself and in your feelings and your emotions so supports release and purifies i am filled with clarity and positive energy i am filled with clarity and positive energy and that's what you need to know and so let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or situation happy birthday you guys i love you and i rock with you and got your six i hope you have mine